Hey everybody, this is Tim Shepard, the Vintage Airstream Podcast. I'm going to make a couple of automatic light uh, controlled rally light switches. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to make two of these to give away during the raffle at the uh, NorCal Rally coming up uh, October 5th, I think. Um, so I thought I'd just go ahead and videotape how I'm going to do this. I got these parts from uh, Amazon. So. The first one is this light controlled relay. Um, you can just go there and punch in um, this here and you'll find it. And basically this has a light sensitive relay in it so when it gets dark, it will turn the relay on inside. And um, that will power your running lights. Um, and then you just need a inexpensive uh, plug. So this is the trailer side because when this is built, it will plug into your um, umbilical cord coming from your trailer. And that's how you'll connect it when you want to use it. Okay, so here we are back with the relay wired in. So it does get a little complicated um, because, you know, if you're looking at the plug, it could be front or the back. So you could, you're best to go by the numbers. And then there's numbers on the back of the... Um, socket here so it just happens that if we look at it this way that matches our drawing so the trailer running lights if you uh, look at the thing the drawing it's on pin 3 so that's gonna be red the 12 volts is going to be hooked up to the pin next to it, which on our relay is black. So black is actually positive on the relay. That powers the circuit inside. And then ground is pin one. So again, if we try and orient it this way, um, I guess this way, it gets complicated. Um, then pin one is white, which is ground, okay? Um, just look at it from the back. If you're going to make one with the exact parts, you can probably pause the video and see where they go. Okay, so uh, then you slide that in and secure the relay, and you end up with this. Okay, here we are back with the finished product. Um, so I, I pushed push the socket back inside, and it's actually held on with two screws so here's one just a Phillips screw and the second one I use to help secure this relay this it comes with this bracket and everything and then I just took two tie wraps put it on there so um, that's it I mean that's pretty simple when you put it on your trailer you can hang it down this way that would keep water out of there um, you could put silicone or something in there if you wanted Another optional thing you could do if you wanted to put a switch in line with one of these, like uh, maybe break this white wire and put a switch on there, then you could turn it on and off when you wanted to use it. Um, or like me, just, just unplug it <laughs> if you don't feel like using it. Um, so here's the parts I got off of Amazon. This is the actual socket, five bucks. Um, it's the cheapest one. So you just wanna make sure you get a seven way socket. And you can go to Amazon. And put that in the search engine and find that the um, here it is um, so here's the photo cell relay so you can put that in the search tool and find that and so that was seven bucks so 12 bucks for the automatic uh, rally light system and again I'm gonna make two of these and give them away at the rally raffle table so let's go out and plug it in and, uh, and see how it looks. Okay, here we are outside in the dark with it connected. Um, so basically, you're just gonna connect it to your umbilical cord. So it's just gonna plug in, there's the relay there. This is probably how I would actually do it so that water coming down won't really get into anything. Um, so you can see now I have my light on the actual white part of that relay, which is in the center. Um, so you're not going to see any light in the lights. So I'm going to remove my light, and then I'll 
it'll take a second or two. Senses the dark, and there they go. So, what's nice the uh, way to do it is to have LED lights in all your running lights and tail lights and things, so you don't have to worry about drawing too much power, especially if you're kind of boondocking. So basically when you set up camp, you plug this in. There's the second one there. Um, you plug that in just like that, and that's it. And then every night, they'll come on. So I'll show you what will happen if I shine the light on it again, like in the morning. It'll turn on. And what's nice is that circuit inside that relay has a bit of a delay so that when it's a shadow cast or just the slow change from dust to dawn, it doesn't um, go on and off. It's called hysteresis. So it has a delay before it kicks on. So once again, I'll remove my flashlight. It'll sense the lights and boom, there you go. Automatic running lights. All right, hope uh, this helps if you guys want to make one. And I'll be giving these away at the uh, NorCal Rally next week. See you down the road.